Happy Wednesday, my acquaintances. And since it's Wednesday, you know what that means. Cue the theme. Double dubs. Also Gusty in the second. Hey, Wing Wednesday, bring all your friends day. Sauce on my cheeks, it is Ranch and Blue Cheese Wing Wednesday. I hope you guys like the new intro. It's just something I made. I thought it would be fun. But on a real note, today, as you saw in the intro, we will be doing Hooters. Um, now, I won't lie, I've been to Hooters before. I've been to Hooters on many occasions, and the problem I've always had is consistency. The wings are not always the same. Sometimes they go in the really good, sometimes they go in the really bad. And that goes with all of the, all of the parts of the wing. The sauce tastes a little iffy. It's not covered as much on the wings. They're not as crispy. The meat isn't as good. There's just a level of inconsistency that I've come to expect with Hooters. Um, but I called them up and I said, hey, what's your most popular wing? And she said, wow, you sound really good, but you like my phone number? I said, wow, let's, let's just, just tell me your favorite wing. She goes, Daytona Beach. So Daytona Beach is the most ordered wing. I've never had their Daytona Beach. I've had a lot of their sauces. I've never had their Daytona Beach. That's what we're going to be trying today. I got an eight count of Daytona Beach wings. Um, it was $11.99, so it's a little pricey for an eight count. So I'm expecting good quality. Uh, the Gist wings were a lot cheaper, and they're still at the top rank. You know, an 8.2 rating is our top wing. So I'm expecting at least higher 7s or low 8s for these for the price. So without further ado, let's get into it. Here we go. What's that? See, I knew the girl on the phone, like, couldn't get enough of me. So she sent me a picture of herself. I scribbled out her face to be nice. Um... But wow, okay, like that's, that's just classless. All right, I go to Hooters, not for the women like many people do. When it comes to places like that, a lot of places do. Uh, we got boobs, we have the hottest girls, all right? When I go to a wing place, all I care about is how good the wings are. You could have men in Speedos serving me wings. If they're good wings, I'll be back every Wednesday, right? Because it's Wing Wednesday. So this woman, throw her in the trash where she belongs, all right? We're doing wings. Why? Because it's Wing Wednesday, not Boob Wednesday. If I want boobs, I'll go online and I'll find them. <laughs> All right, well, stupid little rant aside, these are their Daytona Beach wings, and um, I did have them delivered. So there's a look at them. And I didn't get any ranch or blue cheese because they were asking two bucks for ranch. Okay, that's just not my style. All right, and I reviewed the, la the last week's ratings were based on without ranch. That's how I'm going to do all of these. I'll base, I will might try some with ranch if they include it, but I'm going to base them off of how good they are without any additional sauce because a lot of people order them just like that. So these are the eight count original Hooters wings. Um, Daytona Beach, the most popular sauce. I think they also give me some extra Daytona Beach on the side and Daytona Beach seasoning as well. But, uh, Without further ado, let's go in starting with a flat. Hmm. And they did give me napkins, so I'm gonna try and limit the sauce on my cheeks here. Because you know, they don't call me the sauce boss for nothing. Little peek inside. Um, pretty good white meat. Alright, so that's a flat. I'm just going to try a drum so I can see the difference between the two styles. Okay. Alright. They're very saucy this time, and honestly, I have to say, I am pleasantly surprised. Um, like I said, with the consistency, this time they came through. These are good wings. And the sauce, Daytona Beach, is really good. I can see why it's one of their most popular or their most popular. Um, they're really crunchy. It's good white meat chicken. The sauce has a nice tang and then a nice spicy aftertaste. It's really good. I don't know exactly what's in it, but he hit like a sweet 
mild right away, and then the heat pumps up, and it's a really nice kick. Um, but yeah, on a scale of 1 to finger licking good, 10, I would give these a 7.9. Just under that 8, because the it's just, they're really good, but they're not, you know, they're not pushing it for me. They're not pushing that boundary to get above 8, but a 7.9 is still really good. And I have to give a shout out to Anna Witty. Um, she went on my TikTok, which will be linked in the bio, and she said, do Hooters next. And she said she's had bad experiences with them. But Anna, trust me, if they deliver them like this every time, you have to give them at least one more shot. Come on for the show. Um, but yeah, that is the review, guys. 7.9 out of 10 for the Daytona Beach style 8-count Hooters wings. And these are the traditional wings, not the naked style or uh, boneless traditional wings. Um... Yeah, that's pretty much it. So these are our second best wings. They got higher than the apple barbecue, but they're right under the honey chipotle. So as I said, guys, I really appreciate you watching this episode of Wing Wednesday. I loved all the positive feedback I got on the first episode. I really appreciate it, and I love making this style of videos. And I love wings, and I love making videos that you guys enjoy. So go ahead and comment down below, or go to my Instagram, DM me, go to my Twitter. I'm going to be posting polls of places that I want to go next. Go anywhere and just tell me, hey, you need to try these out. And I would love to check them out for you guys. So I really appreciate it, guys. And as always, have a good Wing Wednesday, my acquaintances.